Good morning, guys. All right, here we go. This video was shot in a poor part of town. Um, it's an area where the police uh, uh, get away with pretty much anything they want because it's populated by poor people and immigrants, um, some illegal immigrants, and you know, the people that are afraid of the police. And so they can do whatever they want and nobody's going to complain and they're taking advantage of that. Um, what they didn't expect was somebody to come through there who has a voice and isn't afraid of them, namely me and you. This is a preview of what's coming from a lot of law enforcement. Um, these tyrants extracted my personal information from me by force and against my will. So the video speaks for itself. Uh, you'll find phone numbers and links um, in the description to uh, call and use your First Amendment voice to seek redress from the government. Uh, these tyrants really need, they don't just need a light shined on, they need the light of truth shined right up their ass. Seriously, I'm, I, I am totally disgusted with this agency. And the constable there is uh, up for re-election and it's a very uh, hotly contested election. So uh, hopefully this video gets him ousted and somebody put in power there that will reel these tyrants in. Uh, you'll notice that this guy went right to uh, extracting my identification without my consent. He didn't think about it. He didn't talk about it. There was no anything, which tells me that this is business as usual for them. And it shouldn't be. A person who's broken no law has a right to his privacy. You know, when, a, when somebody calls in and says, hey, there's a guy out here on the sidewalk who's not breaking the law. Come and investigate him. Why would the police use force and intimidation to bother a citizen who's broken no law? It, it, the answer is simple. This is the epitome of the police state. The current constable that's in there is best buddies with, guess who? Harris County Sheriff Ron Hickman. That should tell you everything you need to know. Here's the video. Guys, hit their Facebook, hit those phones, let them know how you think and feel about what you're seeing here today. This has to be stopped now. This is the front line of tyranny. This is the front line of what we oppose as a people. The Constitution is just gone. And these people who swore an oath to protect and defend the Constitution that oath it means nothing to them and they need to know how we feel about that so guys hit them hit them hard yes sir Calls you about a suspicious mail? Funny, I'm looking for one of those too. I'm looking to see if I can find any tyrants out here. Dispatch help sent sir, me out. Can I see your ID, sir? Uh, have I done something wrong? Investigation based on the complaint. Based on the complaint that I was doing can something wrong. Will I stop recording? Yes. Uh, I think I should continue to record, okay. Officer. Can I see your ID, sir? and. Uh, can I see your ID, sir? Soto. Can I see your ID, sir? Have I done something wrong? Conduct an investigation based on my complaint. Okay. Have I done something wrong? I'm conducting an. Uh, that's why I'm doing an investigation, sir. Okay, I'm on a public sidewalk taking photographs. Exactly. I've got a complaint of that. This is a chemical complaint. It's a Homeland Security issue. I understand. So somebody okay. called in I'm doing that I was... a Homeland Security issue investigation. I understand. I'm just trying to understand what's okay. going on here. Do you not want to ide identify yourself? I will identify okay. myself. Can I ask you ID, sir? I just want to understand That's what's going on. That's a third request. You're, you're telling me That's that... That's a third request, sir. I understand. You're telling me that somebody Fourth called request. in that Can I was... see your ID, sir? You're not going to give me a chance to talk. Do you want to fail to ID yourself? Failure to ID? Yes, sir. That is a problem. Yes, sir, it is. Can I 
Uh, you going to arrest me if I don't show you my identification? Yes, For failure to ID? Yes, Under 3802, 3802 says I only have to identify myself if I've been lawfully arrested. 802 says I'm only... I'm conducting an investigation, sir. Okay, I, I'm not trying to give you a hard time. I, I'm really not. I haven't done anything wrong. I, I, I think I should be free to go. I just want to be on my way. I'm conducting an investigation, sir. I, I haven't done anything wrong. I'm, I would determine that. Well, have you seen me do something wrong? I would determine that. I'm, I'm going based on the complaint. And the complaint was that I'm taking pictures from a public sidewalk of things that I can see from the public sidewalk. Homeland Security issues, like I told you before. Homeland Security has no jurisdiction over me. Sir? Unless I break the law. Sir, may I see your ID, sir? Am I being detained? I need to see your ID, sir. Am I being detained? I need to see your ID, sir. Okay, you're, you're not telling me if I'm being detained. You are detained, sir. Okay, I'm going to reach into my back pocket. All right. Do you have anything on you, sir, that, that, that will... Uh, I am not armed. I have no weapons on me. Uh, nothing. And not even a pocket knife. I got a pair of keys in my right front pocket. That is it. And you guys are precinct 17. Hammer down, sir. Yes, I will. Okay, I'm going to... Give me a moment, sir. Okay, hold on. Put it like this so it doesn't go in the mud, if that's okay. The little legs come out. That's all it is. There's no weapons here. Okay, I'm down right there. Okay, I got a phone around my neck. Keys. Keys. You keep doing that. Taking photographs. For what reason? For my use. I don't do consent to searches. I do not consent to seizures of my property. What do you know, sir? I don't wish to answer any more questions without an attorney present. You're not under arrest, you've only been detained from this case. So you're handcuffing me. Alright. I'm not going to resist. I'm not resisting, sir. Yeah. I'm not saying you resist. Okay. Well, you're twisting my fingers and my wrist and stuff like you're, you're trying to hurt me. Ah, you're using the fingerprint scanner. So you're going to steal my identification without my consent. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to step step this way, if that's okay. I'm not going to run. I'm not doing anything wrong. I haven't broken any law. Damn, y'all put those cuffs on. This left cuff is so tight. Okay, look, my fingers are turning blue. Can you loosen that cuff for me, please? Sir. I, I'm just asking to loosen that cuff. Look at look how tight it is, dude. I, I'm not going to give you guys any trouble. No, I, I don't have anything. It's some keys, and that's it. You're not going to loosen the cuff? Dude, look how tight it is. Okay, uh, let, us, let us finish. Let's see back here. So you're intentionally trying to torture me here. No. Okay, look. Oh, crap. My hand is turning blue. Ah. All right, I'm in. Ah. Soto, you got this left cuff so tight I can't feel my hand, dude. Can you loosen this left cuff, please? Just the left one. So only one side. I'll, I'll turn so you can get to it. Oh, you see how tight it is? See what I'm saying? Thank you. There you go. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. Back so I, can, I don't want to fall into you. You said you were here for Homeland Security. Do you not, are you not aware of the Homeland Security bulletin that went out in 2010 that said that public photography is all right? Here, based on the, 
Somebody complained that I'm conducting lawful activity. That guy's driving down the road. You want to go get him just because he's driving down the road? It's exactly the same thing. That would be breaking the law. That's the point. I'm not breaking the law. And you know that. 